this is Dan Book Nook Noggin here. So, I've been reading a lot of X books lately. Um, I feel like I've been really behind on keeping current with those titles because, to be honest with you, the X Men have always been one of my favorite uh, teams from the Marvel Universe. So, I always, you know, tried to stay up with what was going on with the X Men, but I will admit I have been slacking. So I've been picking up the books and trying to read them lately because I really want to... I, like I said, they're one of my favorite teams for the Marvel Universe. So I saw that they did this one, uh, X-Men The Trial of Magneto. Now, um, I, I'll admit that I did not go and look into the synopsis. I wanted to be surprised. That's one of the things I get out of reading, you know, the series is I like to, you know, be surprised with the events. Like, even if I'm aware of, like, a certain specific event, like, I'm aware of uh, the Dark Web one they did, and they did a couple others yet I've yet to read, like Inferno and all that. So, yeah, but, you this know, one is, you would think it's going to be mainly centered around Magneto, because it is the trial of Magneto, too. Basically, this is another one where Wanda, 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 why does it always go back to Wanda? Wanda Maximoff, why does it always go back to her? Um, this, of course, this, I, I love every once in a while reading, you know, the Avengers X-Men team-ups that I've seen in the past. And okay, I'll admit, they're fun, they're interesting at times. But this one had super cheesy dialogue at the same time. That this really kind of, I was like, okay then. I was like, that was a super, it, I felt like it kind of jumped the shark in some ways. But at the same time, I see the merits of the storyline that they were trying to give us with this book. I mean, they're trying to go with the whole murder mystery. Who killed Wanda Maximoff? And of course, they're suspecting that it was, you know, Magneto because he's said this in the past, I guess. Even though I wasn't aware of that until I read this. So yeah, this did make for an interesting story. But like I said, there were some very, very cheesy, like... I felt like in some ways the story got really super cheesy. Um, the way it ended I thought was very, very cheesy. And once I read it I was kind of like, oh wow, that's that's what they're doing. But it made sense in the long run. Like I can see them using this because this way they can use any mutant from the known X-Men universe. And they can say, hey, and like in case somebody forgets that this character had died they have a justification because I guess this story kind of makes it known it's like the canon to let you know that you know any mutant that may have been alive around the time of Wanda Maximoff's lifetime which they could even have not even been born yet if you want to look at it that way because they had this weird triad thing with with Wanda it was that part was really cool I really thought that was fun and interesting um, they really dove into that magical part of the Scarlet Witch. Um, yeah, I, one of the things I never really understood was I never understood why they had they felt the need to go back and say that Wanda was not a mutant. Um, I don't know if they did that in the No More Mutants storyline. I really don't know because, like, I kind of like you know it kind of gets muddied after a while. But at some point, they decided that she was going to be a human, but she's still the daughter of Magneto. What? That's, I, I think, feel like there were moments like that that just kind of had me like, what is, what is going on with this story, seriously? Because it was just moments like that. But then they brought her back, or she brought herself back from the dead. It was all sorts of weird, and it was kind of intriguing at the same time. And I feel like I'm kind of spoiling that by telling you that, but I'm just kind of letting you know, you know, what my thoughts were on this book. Um, in the end all, at the end of the day, I'm going to say that this was a three-star book, guys. Um, if you absolutely are a completionist, you want to uh, check out, you know, read it. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, it wasn't horrible, it wasn't terrible. I mean, it has its moments, you know. Like, this was a scene where they were trying to distract the Avengers because they were doing the 
the tour of the island, and they're like, we can't let them know that we, we can resurrect ourselves, because they don't want them, the world to know that, that they're able to bring themselves back after dying. So, I kind of like that, too. Like, I thought that was interesting. You know, but this was, okay, this was a part of the book that was super cheesy. And I was, like, thinking, oh, yep, here come anime fanboys, you know. Like, <laughs> they had to have the kaiju in there, and I thought that was super jump the shark for me. That felt like a jump the shark moment. They're like, oh, I can imagine the team that worked on this story were like, yeah, I fucking love Godzilla. Put him in the book! We need to put kaiju in there! And they're like, yeah. Like I said, so not every part of <laughs> Like, but there were some cool supernatural kind of things going on with Scarlet Witch I thought were interesting. But I just wish they would have, like, made it so that she's a mutant again. I still don't understand why. Yeah, and then there was this one line where Rogue and Gambit arrive back from someplace, because apparently they're jet-setting everywhere around the universe and whatnot. And they're like, we're here to kick Monster Butt. I hope you saved us some. And I thought that was kind of, that was another cheesy line, like cheesy scenario going on for this book. But, you know, it had its moments. It wasn't terrible. It was, it was a decent read if you absolutely have to know why, you know, what happened with the trial of Magneto. And I thought it was kind of shitty what they did to one of the Brotherhood of Mutants in that, too. So that's two Brotherhood Mutants down. The basement. They're down in Xavier's basement. But yeah, that that is um that's my thoughts on this guys. You know, like I said, I'm not saying you have to go read this, but I did it does have its merits. It does have its merits. Um yeah, um I'm gonna have a link to that on Amazon if you wouldn't mind picking it up, checking it out for yourselves. Um, I'm also going to throw down my coffee link if you want to help support my channel. I, I always like have to remind everybody I'm not receiving AdSense from Google. Um, even if you see ads on my videos, Google's getting that money and not me. Um, I wish they would have grandfathered me into that program, but they didn't. So it is what it is, and I have to do affiliate links and all that jazz. So, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So, yeah. Go check this book out if you absolutely have to. But, you know, like I said, it, was, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible, but, it, you know, I it had its good spots. Later.